Welcome to Elizabeth's Craft Room. Now, have I got you round today to eat biscuits at you? I wish I had. Look, they're empty. Um, but I wanted to show you um, and give you an impression of the size of these huge um, gusseted cellophane bags that are in the catalogue. Now, I really want to recommend these for Christmas packaging. They're six pounds and you get 25 of them. That is a lot of Christmas packaging. And even if you're just putting them over the top of wrapping paper, they're gonna look fabulous. Look, I told you, they're so big they won't fit on the camera. Um, they are over 16 inches, about 17 inches long, and about six and a half inches across, but they're gusseted, so they're bigger than that. So these are, oops, sorry, I kicked the camera. Um, these are huge. Now, of course, they are great for putting wine in. And who wouldn't want to receive a lovely bottle of wine um, with a beautiful tag on? So absolutely perfect for wine. And as you can see, look, I've got loads left over at the top. It's not a struggle to get them in. You would get a champagne bottle in there, no problem at all. You could also um, do home-baked um, goodies. I'm thinking a loaf. This is, look at my hand, that's stretched as far as it will 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 go. And I've still got more bag. I can get my whole arm in there. So you could definitely put a home-baked loaf um, or something similar to that. So I'm just going to be wrapping this dairy milk box of goodies um, and showing you um, a couple of ideas for how to um, how to actually wrap with it. Now, I mentioned you could put regular wrapping paper underneath. You could put um, designer paper. Um, and I'm going to do kind of a, a mixture of, of things here. But the first thing I'm going to do is to actually um, tie this off at the top. Now, I'm going to tie it using some white. Um, this is just the white um, baker's twine. So I'm just going to tie that underneath and then I'll put some ribbon over the top and pretty it up. But I just want that, um, that to be nice and tight underneath and closed up. And obviously if you have something baked in there, you would want to try and um, uh, seal, um, seal that up nicely too. So I've given myself look, the tiniest little bit of there. Right, okay. Trim those off. Okay, so we're we're we've got a, a tied box now. I would, you know, say you could hide dairy milk, but if I was getting dairy milk biscuits, I'd be quite happy to see what's in there. So you can tell that the colour way that we're going with here is going to be some elegant eggplant. Um, and I thought what we might do is to use um, a wreath and um, a joy. Um, word out of because it's so joyful to get chocolate biscuits um the wonderful wreath framelits now these are in the big catalogue they've been around for a little while and they've got a matching stamp set so i'll grab that and we'll get started right let's start with a bit of stamping so i'm going to start off with my wreath i'm starting with um smoky slate Just stamp that, that down. And with photopolymer um, and our, our inks, it's worth just holding those on just for a moment, just to get, um, to make sure that all the ink has sort of soaked into the paper. That's not quite the right term, but how it goes right so I'm, I'm gonna pop this on now these little tabs at the top of the wreath they kind of help you line up but honestly I it doesn't matter if you're not quite lined up even if they're off a little bit still look really pretty so I'm now going in with the elegant eggplant pretty and then I want to stamp some berries on here is I'm gonna do a little bit of heat embossing so I'm now going to stamp my berries over and I'm stamping this in Versamark, which is a clear sticky ink. And then 
and taking some silver embossing powder I'm going to pour that over the top and we'll take the heat gun and I'll make a little bit of a noise. So if I hold that up can you now see how glossy and beautiful those berries look? So here we are with a big shot. Um, we are cutting the joy. We are going to cut um, this piece here. Oh, now it was that way up. I know this because these two little um, leaves here are at the top, not the bottom. So I've just flipped this to cut it. Now, if I line that up now, can you see that these leaves line up quite nicely around the edge? Because I've got this little tab here. And this one in the middle, again, I'm just lining lining that up. That one's less critical, um, but it does help. And just imagine having to cut that all out by hand. That would take a long time. So let's just run that through the big shot. I'll just run it back again. Just to be sure we've got everything. Form should cut this out fine. So let's just... Ease this one out. Can you see? That is so pretty. And then we've got the joy to come out. Now this one, we're going to need to be quite gentle as we take this out. We have got these little release holes, which are going to help get some of the pieces out. And just be quite gentle as you take it out you don't want to tear your foil paper. Take that little piece out there. There you go. Isn't that pretty? So we're going to put the joy across here. There we go. So I'm going to put my wreath a little bit higher. It'll just pop up. And I want the joy to go across just like that. So what I'll do with that is I'll put some snail on the back. You could also use um, Tombow glue, um, but I just I don't want to get Tombow on the front of this. So snail is quite a good option and it's quite a light piece so there you go. Can you see all the gleam and glimmer that we've created in there for that tag? So I've had a look to see what I've got and I've got some of this um, designer paper. This is from the stack and it's not going to be quite big enough but I can cut a little extra bit will be hidden underneath. In fact, what we'll do aha, is we'll have it come round like this and then we won't see the join. So I will join it just to be, um, just to make it secure. But that will, we'll just hide that underneath. So I'll just put a little bit of tear and tape either side here. So yes, this is from the neutral stack, um, which includes a, um, a gold tone and a silver tone um, as well as the neutral colours. So that's working quite well with a silvery sort of look on this one. So we'll just do our little, our little join. Put that round the middle there. And then our joy then will fit right across. So I'll put some dimensionals under there and I'll just hold that again in place to make sure that looks nice. There we go. There's our little, oops if you take the backing off, <laughs> there's our little wreath. 
we can put a gift tag on there as well. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is to finish now just with a bit of ribbon. Um, this is the organza, the white organza ribbon, which I thought would be pretty with this. We've also got some silver, some narrow silver ribbon, which we could have used. But I think a bigger ribbon on this big package probably looks looks better. There we go. And there's our package. Now, wouldn't anybody like to receive that for Christmas? with the chocolate inside. <laughs> I know I certainly would. Um, if you would like to get some of these um, fantastic value bags, um, just go to Elizabeth's Craft Room. If you're visiting on YouTube, you'll need to go there. There's down at the bottom of this post, there is a link. Um, click on shop now and this will take you straight to my shop or even scroll down to the bottom of the post and you'll actually see the link that will take you direct to where you find these bags and the other goodies that I've used today um, but not the chocolate <laughs> so thanks for visiting Elizabeth's craft room today sorry for tempting you terribly with the chocolate and I look forward to welcoming you back again soon no.